the things today, old friends. Welcome to a new edition of the IoT Friday. Today I'm going to talk about how to learn co-op in five minutes. A lot of people ask me, what is the best IoT Internet of Things protocol today? And uh, my answer is always, it depends on your application. So because we are recommending co-op to a lot of uh, Internet of Things startup companies, um, I would like to do like a brief introduction of what is co-op in more detail. So, Co-op, it's actually a proposed standard uh, since June 2014, so it's a very new um, protocol, communication protocol that it's still not standard, but it's going to be one of the future standard protocols on IoT. So what does it mean? It means constrained application protocol. That means that it was specifically designed for constrained hardware. So there is hardware that doesn't support, for example, HTTP or TCP IP. So the um, designers of this protocol, inspired by HTTP, designed this co-op uh, uh, using UDP and IP. So that means that we have a one-to-one -one communication protocol inspired in HTTP. So it, it uses the get, post, put, and delete actions on, on, the, on the hardware and on the, on the protocol. But that said, um, it's more lightweight and it's also for uh, devices that doesn't need um, or that needs a specific uh, uh, low energy treatment. So, for example, if you are using a battery, etc., this is more um, efficient, energetically speaking, than if you are using HTTP or REST APIs, etc. It implements some interesting features on the top of HTTP that are, for example, not implemented on HTTP. For example, observe and discovery features. So let's talk about observe. So in HTTP, it's uh, complicated to uh, know if there is a, a new state on a variable, etc. So you need to, usually to do polling all the time. So ask every minute or every second if there is a new state of a variable that you are observing. So in co-op, that it's very focused on Internet of Things, they try to solve this problem. So they create this observe flag. So if you send a get with an observe flag, uh, every time uh, the server see or the, or the other device see that there is a change on the state of that variable, uh, it will push a notification to, to, to the original device who actually um, defined the observe flag. There is also discovery. This is something that is uh, getting uh, more interesting on the Internet of Things, how to discover devices that are around us. So co-op is trying to define a protocol of how to find things that are around us. And the server can store a list of the devices that are around devices, sending the resources of those devices and the media types that they support. And finally, for quality of service of co-op, there are two different quality of service. The confirmable message, because it's over UDP that you don't know if the message is, is being received. Um, you can get a confirmation that the message has been received. Or non-confirmable, that it's like in MQTT, uh, fire and forget, so you don't care if, if, the, if the other part has received uh, the message or not. That said, because it's over UDP and IP, there are always not problems. So if, if your thing is... Uh, behind a router or a firewall, there will be always problems finding the exact IP. So it's interesting to refresh IPs or using um, tools to, to solve that NAT problems. That said, at the, at the Things.io we have an implementation of the co-op library, so feel free to go to the Things and ask for a beta uh, developer's account and we will uh, give you access to, to it. And we will let you use the co-op protocol at the Things.io. Thank you. Bye-bye.